Geo has already done a walk around halls 17 to 20. Not all of it though, so I'm going to head right if I can get that the right direction. As is usual, we've done all the hard work. And guess who's just turned up? Not me. Let's go. All right. Look That's at the it. doors. Love this. Welcome to Mac 2018. Yep. Starts on Monday, as, as Colin correctly said, which is unusual. Geo's been round part of the uh, part of the halls today, and we're going to go and do the next bit. Get the door for us, Paul. So this is one of the main entrances that you could come in here, but obviously we're outside Hall 17, which is the entrance, which is just down there. That is left for that us, Paul, just clarifying. Right for you. Yeah. Mind that big stand. Which and uh, I feel a bit scruffy in this. Yeah. Well, that's because I've been doing all the hard work, Paul. No change there. Could have done with a shave. So outside Hall 20 here, obviously evident to the right, you can see where all the stands are. Mind that stand. Mind the pillar in the middle. Um, when they guaranteed us this will be ready for Tuesday morning. I'm sure it will be. Normally what happens is you come in Sunday afternoon and it still looks like it's not going to be finished, but you come here Monday morning and it looks pristine and fantastic. Who stands this? Well, this is where Gio ended his tour. This is on the DMG Mori stand. One of the stands will be on I during think, the Paul, week. I think, Paul, I'm going to go right first, I think. Come on. Okay, let's go right. If we can get through, let's go up this way. Right, I'm going this side. Oh, no, it gets hold off. It's got footprints all over there standing. I haven't even started yet. This is the NLX 2500 to my right here. This is um, one of the machines we previewed, actually, uh, before the Mac show. This has got the autoloader and the gantry. Autoloader gantry, anything else? Autoloader gantry, so you've got uh, the ability to do the unmanned running on this machine. Let's Looks like it's an unmanned stand at the moment. All ties into Industry 4. Our friends at Citizen, see if we can see anybody. Hold on a second. Educators, Colin. Guys, just checking. Everything, everything all right for uh, Monday? Yeah, doing all right, mate. Yeah. All the machines working? Seem all right. Cutting any metal yet? All of them. I'll, I'll tell you what, look at that. That nah, was unprepared. Oh, good stuff. Well, giveaways, come and see us. Some oh, hold on a second. Come and see us. You say giveaways? Giveaways, yep. These are special giveaways, though. Oh, that, that's if you sign up on the day. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Done. Come and win a, a, a low, an NFV working model. There you go. Impressive stuff. You're getting out on camera, Chris. Good work, gents. Good luck, and we'll see you bright and early we'll you, uh, Tuesday on yeah. oh, Monday. Monday. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Mind that. Oh, he's nearly fell over there. Right. Sure, drinking there. <laughs> no, I'm not getting a drink from there, Paul. It's disgusting. Uh, your friends from Matsura? Yeah, covering a little bit of similar territory to what we, or what Gio did earlier today. Paul. I know he didn't get uh, right on the stand. And I think they've got Paul's CD playing, can you hear that? I think what you see here, if you come a bit closer, Chris, uh, the MX520 pallet changer machine's also here this week, and the Murata MT200, and then the unmanned or the MAM 7235V. All machines aimed at uh, production machining. And let's go back. Did you say MAM 35V? How many pallets? Uh, as, well, as many as you like, I think. I no, leading question, 30, 32, because we saw 32. that Columbia Precision on Friday. We did. Hella to the left. And again, I know it's a bit of oh, hello, territory, hello. Bit of territory oh, that uh, Geo covered earlier. Uh, this is one of my favourite stands here, Paul. What, empty? <laughs> yeah, empty. I think we're moving into... Um, oh, look. Wait for the cameras. No, losing this crowd. Moving into... Uh, Metrology, I think. Uh, no, this doesn't measure up, mate. We're I'm not going to get wrong. through that way. Is that your tractor? Ah, uh, no, it's one of the uh, banana splits. Automation, metrology, oh. flame grill burgers over there. All right, Climber tooling. I've been walking for ages, mate. Can we uh, grab by Unison. Today? In fact, we shot one of our first ever videos at Unison up in Scarborough. That was going back about uh, five years ago. Still better than what yours are today. Un unison or unison? Unison. Awesome. Oh, that's appropriate. We're in the soaring area. What are they doing? Just cut his finger off. Lubrication. Need it Close after to this your walk. Close to your heart. Oh, I can't find the plug. 
And then it's looking, oh, here's a Romy. Romy. Romy machine. Yeah, but the thing is, I've seen Paul. He's been doing absolutely nothing. Here's one of their D800s. In fact, they, 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 they sold uh, an absolute ton of these machines last year. What? Uh, obviously What's so good about it? Being exhibited off of the Romy stand as well. Competitive price, heavy duty, good quality uh, results. Spindle speed? On component manufacture. 12,000 RPM, probably. Down this way, we can see a, a, a Mazak oh. Variax down here. Actually, this is a neat little machine. This is a J500. Uh, J500 off of the Mazak SX, stand, actually. I think it's quite interesting how you tend to find a lot of the machinery suppliers will put their machines not just on their own, stand, on their own stands, but on other stands as well. Little, um, Sorry, interview if you want to. What have you got to tell us? How's it going? Five axis here. Oh, he's hiding now. This this J five hundred five X five X. Come here, Chris. Have a look at this. Nice little machine. Um, ideal ideal tool for five axis machining, five face machining. You've got the Mazak smooth control. Very easy to get in. I love the way when you get these doors open, and we're not going to do it for health and safety oh, reasons. We get these <laughs> doors open. You get right into the machines for setting the parts. That's going to be a, a big seller for Mazak for sure. Uh, we've now also going into um, the DTS stand over here where we've got the Correa machines. Now, Paul, Correa Norma. Correa talk, Norma. Talk me through it. Correa Norma machine. I'm not sure whether this machine is actually going to be the, uh, the mill turn machine, whether we can get close to this at all. If you can come in, in here, there. Chris. Wow, look at this for a bit of kit. Thank you. This is a, this is a, uh, oh, the a real education for you, Colin. This is a Correa Norma. I went to Spain uh, not long ago to look at these machines. Uh, this is a, um, a, a travelling column machine. And you've got that uh, integrated C-axis table there. Huge table and also um, for full five-axis machining on this. A huge table as well. It looks about two metres in, I'd say, in size. What size envelope? I'd probably say it's, but that looks, I don't know, maybe, maybe four metres, something like that. Um, but, but often DTS, when they come to these shows, uh, they, they don't have uh, the machines here, but it's great to see that a Correa is I'll actually go here. We're we going this way, are yeah. we? Okay. Our, uh, our geography map. If, you, if map it's travelling column machines, then that's, um, that's an opportunity for sure. I think we're going to get stuck in some boxes here, Paul. Ah, oh, another, uh, another yeah. focus point. Got some big news coming from these guys this week. Um, 600 UK. This is a, a new machine. I don't know whether you can get in there at all, Chris. The Colchester Typhoon B65 MSY. This is going to be shown this week. This is a new new turning centre oh, from 600 UK. Don't give too much UK. information away, Paul. I don't know enough to give too much <laughs> away. Uh, Fanet control machine, but the Typhoon range is a new product to 600 UK. Chris, so some, the, uh, some the developments mate. coming from them uh, early part of the week as well, which you'll find out more about on our channel. What's that, Colin? Um, it's definitely Colchester Harrison Alpha 1550 XS. Well done, good to see I'd you with the glasses v VMC. On today. <laughs> VMC, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice lathes, uh, full CNC machine. They have some very, very innovative, innovative software on their controls on these machines that make it very easy for programming. Fanet control, though. It's Fanet control, yeah, but they've got a very intuitive control that make it very easy to go from manual machining to full CNC machining. Okay, uh, this so way. when you say that, someone, oh, look, someone's there's, a been, there's a typhoon as well, another typhoon L52, Chris. Just take a step back. Someone's been doing a manual turning, whatever, and they, oh, I don't really want to go on the CNC. Easy to use, easy to switch over. Yeah, you find I mean, that occasionally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and there, and there is hundreds of the Harrison Alpha Paul. machines in the field. Um, further this way, bit of Herco here. Are we on? The, where's the? Oh yeah, the on your left. Stand. Okay. Now you'll know Herco. Uh, you you'll know Herco safety? for their for their uh, innovation. A lot of new developments on five-axis machines as well of late. There's, oh, and there's a new BX50. Let's head down this way if we can quickly. So VX50. VX50 here. Same in terms nice, of controls, nice to like touchscreen, because people BX50 rave about that. VX50 machine. Look at this one. Nice little component Hello, Graham, in there. how are you doing? Nice machine here. Tell us about this VX50. No pressure. <laughs> it's a mini DCX22. Okay, and it's, this is the first time it's been seen in the UK? First time it's been in, yeah, in the, in the UK. We've had it on the French show. We sold some in Germany and France, but the first one in the UK. Looks like it's um, quite easy to get in, good access. But you've also got that bridge construction, which I suppose gives you a fully supported machining uh, configuration. It does, yes. It's a very stable machine, in line, 18,000 RPM spindle, HSK 63. Going to be popular this week? 
I think so. Yeah, we've quoted quite a few already. Um, so yeah, it's looking very good. And and you you're going to be ready. I mean, you've got a load of kit on here. You got a, your rower. Yeah, we're well, uh, being interrupted by these guys with, with microphones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> we'll leave you to it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, thank you very much. We'll see you throughout the week. I think that's yeah. a, a, a note to move on quickly. Yeah, yeah we'll see you nice, maybe Friday nice afternoon then. You. Nice to see you now. <laughs> now uh, you got yeah, a nice camera, um, so don't swear. VMX30 UHSI as well with the Euroa loading system. Is that three plus uh, one there? The VM10. No, three plus two. Right, we're getting at, we're getting stairs now, so we better go, Paul. Come on, come on. Oh, look at him up there, Chris. I he's see been, him. He's Hello, been stuck there for about last hour. Some... Do you need someone to let you down? <laughs> Quick, Paul, leg it. And then with VM5, small VM5. Oh, what about this and one, Paul? This is. Have you seen this? Look at this. Yeah, I've seen the VC 500i before. Look at the nice machine. 50 years of. This is something I programmed earlier, actually, while you were doing the, pra year, the practice. Accolade. But the controls made it easy for me to do. Oh, nice stand here. You like this one? You like yeah, some tiles yeah. like that on your kitchen? Toiling, floor, toiling, Ross. Yeah. Oh, just walked all over his clean tiles. Sorry. Now, as we work our way towards now the end of the halls, uh, so if we exit up here, which I believe you can exit, there is a, there's a load more. Uh, there's a load more to the show than what we've just shown you. Uh, and of course, over the next 24, 48 hours, all this is going to go together, um, and we're going to be doing lots more of these because there's other parts of the halls we haven't got to yet. But that's giving you a, a, another very quick overview of what's going together here at Mac and what you can see starting Monday morning. I think the doors open at. Um, at nine o'clock. Enjoyed it, Colin? I, well, I have, but I'm absolutely exhausted and we've only had a quick run through. So if you're planning to come here, it's going to be all day. All day. Definitely an all day job. Right. And you know where to come at the end of the day, don't you? Oh, and here we go. Here's the exit. No, not the exit, Paul. Swore for chips, uh, MTD suite. So as we, as, we, as we walk out of here, this will be another one of the entrances. Um, and I'm not, I think, Paul, are you speed yeah. walking on purpose? Speed walking on purpose. So this is, so this is Hall Seven. This is the entrance to Hall Seven, which is another part of um, the show. Uh, so we've been through Hall uh, Seventeen, Hall Twenty, Hall Seven. Uh, starts all starts on Monday morning.